using Autodesk Inventor 2013 to create an end table. In this final tutorial I'm going to show you how to modify this so that when we look at the bottom right now, I'm just going to swing this around here, and I don't know why I'm using the view cube, okay, and you can see that it's not centered. The top is not centered to the bottom rails and legs. So the first thing I do is do a little bit of measurement. So I'm just going to flip this around. Okay, we'll do it upside down. No, we're not. We'll flip it the other way around. Okay, and we're going to go distance, and I'm going to measure this top one, basically from this spot here across to there. Okay, that's my 15 inches. Okay, and I'm going to measure again from this leg over to this leg, and that's 14 and a half. So there's about a half inch over overlap here, but we want it to be centered. So divide half by two, and we get quarter inch. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to go and switch this around and go to the bottom. Okay. And what I can do is come down here. This is actually closed. You expand this and you come down and you look at your uh, constraints. And there's a mate there. There's mate, which is the top to the legs and rails. Then there's flush, which is that edge, and flush, which is that edge. So I can actually just double click. And you can see now there's a dimension here. And I can put that to 0.25. And when I click OK, what it will do is nudge it over a bit. So there it's centered that one. I go to flush here, double click, and whoops, down here now. And I go 0.25, and you can see there we go there. So now it's actually uh, centered. Okay, so go back to my view cube here. There it is. It's looking right. But you know, if I look at this, maybe I want a little bit more of a of an overhang. So if I want an overhang a bit more, what do I have to do? Well. I guess I got to modify either the rails a bit smaller or the top a bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to go for the rails. So I'm basically just going to come around here. I'm going to grab a rail, right mouse click, open it, and I go to the extrusion sketch, double click it, and I'll go and change from 11 down to 10. Okay, finish it off. You can see it shortens up. Save it. Now when I go back to the table that's complete, uh oh. You can see now there's a gap okay, in all the rails. Well, that's kind of dumb. But the reason there's a gap is because it's all constrained and you can't move anything. So if I go back to this mate, I right mouse click and I hit delete. See it all goes back together. My overhangs are wrong, okay, but everything else is right now. Okay, Then what I can do is I would have to go and obviously um, I can move stuff now. So go back to assembly, constrain, Take that surface there, grab, and it's going to be hard to get into there. There we go. Grab that surface there. Now I've constrained to that. And then the last thing I would have to do is go back and look at this and go, okay, well, my overhang's wrong. So I did it by an inch, therefore i got to take this. And this has got to be 0.75 now over overhang because I'm adding half an inch each way. And then, whoops, right there, wrong one. Get out of that. Right there, flush, 0.75. And now I have an overhang of three quarters. Okay, I just go back to the view cube, and there we go. There's my end table. So that basically completes the tutorial. And um, hopefully by now you know how to use Inventor and uh, kind of assemble things and modify things. And uh, good luck when you uh, go to the next tutorial.